Hi, this is an educational presentation on rare cardiac diseases by Godhart European Reference Network. My name is Jacob Tvelt Hansen. I'm a cardiologist and professor of forensic cardiology. I work at Rigshospitalet Copenhagen, Denmark. The education will be on sudden cardiac death in the young, epidemiology. This is a brief outline of the presentation. We'll start with some brief history, turn towards definition of sudden cardiac death, the epidemiology of sudden death, sudden cardiac death in the young, causes of death in sudden death in the young, risk factors for sudden cardiac death in the young, and lastly, discuss why is autopsy and toxicology pivotal. History. On the assumption that he existed, Phidipides, a Greek soldier, ran from Marathon to Athens to spread the news of his army's victory over Persia, delivered his message, and then collapsed and died. This fulfills the definition of sudden death. S sudden death is the sudden, natural and unexpected death of unknown cause. Definition of sudden cardiac death is the sudden, natural, unexpected death of unknown or cardiac cause. And herein lies the autopsy, the information of the autopsy. Then we are normally divided into witness cases and autumn witness cases. And in witness cases, uh, there is a time frame of normally one hour that we used epidemiologically. This of course may be difficult if you have prolonged cardiac arrest and or if the patient uh, treatment is terminated after days in the um, acute care unit. In unwitnessed cases, as a person last seen alive, functioning normally less than 24 hours being found. How to assess the correct burden of sudden death or incidence rates? Here I have listed some retrospectively methodology and prospectively methodology. One such study is performed by our group, and this shows uh, the crude number of cases in a seven year period. And here you may appreciate that the age is one to 35. And this is what most groups uh, use as sudden cardiac death in the young. Some will go up to 40 and some even uh, 50 at times. In this study, uh, we found an incidence rate, so that's number of people died per 100,000 person years of 2.8. This is the highest uh, yet to be published. We found, as other found, uh, there are two male for each woman. As you may appreciate, around uh, in Europe, as well as in Australia and New Zealand, these numbers are pretty stable. So from one to 2.8 per 100,000 person years across the board. If you go above 35 to the um, 49 years old, what you may appreciate is after the age of uh, 30, there's a sharp increase in the incidence so uh, from the 48 to 49 years old, it's almost 40 uh, persons per 100,000 person years. If we look at general population data, we say we normally quote this paper saying sudden death is uh, cause of death in 18.5% of all deaths or 
These are data from the 90s, and these are probably still the best data that we have in Europe. Uh, in the US, it has all, or also been estimated using various sources by the group of Sumit Chu. And what they found is around 10% of all deaths are sudden cardiac death, and gender is 2 to 1 again. What are the causes of sudden cardiac death? Well, coronary, of course, in the age above 35 is the leading cause, but below what you may appreciate from this figure from our colleagues uh, in Japan and in the US, it's mainly monogenic diseases or oligogenic, as we know now, long QT syndrome, uh, structural normal heart and hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, for example, are quite prevalent when you uh, do the post-mortem. And such study we have performed, uh, this is uh, in the young, so 1 to 35, and the most common finding here is uh, an autopsy with no finding. So uh, there's no uh, MI, there's no structural heart disease, no bleeding in the brain, and toxicology, very importantly, is also normal. Then we uh, say it's an unexplained, sudden unexplained death. Uh, number uh, two cause of death in this series was ischemic heart disease, and these are quite young, but already here um, you see this, and then other diseases are listed as you may appreciate. These data has been uh, found around the globe. So this is uh, a study, a very elegant study from the, the research group of uh, Chris Simsarian and Jonathan Skinner. And what they found uh, was that unexplained death, again, is the leading cause in number two coronary artery disease. And then from a genetic point of view, many of these diseases, if we look into them carefully, and I'll do that in part two, you will see many of these are potentially inherited. And this is, of course, why we should be interested in seeing the families. And I'll come back to that in next. This is a figure that shows causes of sudden cardiac death according to age in autopsy cases um, in a 10 year period. In Denmark, and what you may appreciate is uh, at the age from 1 to 10, almost 50% are caused by an unexplained death, uh, here termed sudden arrhythmic death syndrome, whereas in the upper age range, you will appreciate that coronary artery disease is the main cause of death in this bar and which of course becomes smaller and smaller with age. A large part of what we do of course is trying to identify a young person at risk of sudden cardiac death uh, and we have established some uh, risk factors or uh, patients at risk of sudden cardiac death. Uh, it has been um, looked into by uh, a group of authors led by Arthur Wilhelm, Hein Wilhelms and Peter Swartz among others of a risk stratification. And the problem, and this is for general population, is what you can see is predictability is poor or limited in most cases of sudden cardiac death. Uh, as we know now, uh, only uh, reduced ejection fraction in general population seems to be uh, the valid risk factor. In the young, uh, several studies uh, have looked into populations at risk. And one such study is on congenital heart disease carried out in Denmark uh, from 0 to 35 uh, years old. And just to show uh, how these kind of studies are performed, we looked at the whole um, 
Denmark and found that in this period of time there was uh, 24 million person years, that is number of people exposed, out of which uh, 11,500 death, out of which 40 were sudden cardiac death with a congenital heart disease. And what we found was uh, patients with congenital heart disease have a tenfold increased risk of sudden cardiac death. Now, um, the number of cases are mainly below one year, as you may appreciate from this figure. So, uh, and furthermore, we in this study at least, we found that only 60% were known prior to death, and this mainly lies in this figure. Another uh, population at risk is epilepsy, its term sudden unexpected death in epilepsy, and at least in our series, we found a 16-fold increased risk of a sudden unexpected death uh, if you are exposed to having epilepsy in the young. This is also the case for diabetes. Here in a study just published, uh, in uh, just accepted in 2019 in European Heart Journal, we have found that uh, Patients with type 1 and type 2 diabetes have an eightfold increased risk of sudden cardiac death compared to persons without diabetes. Also, something very benign as feeble seizures, we have found that have a twofold increase of uh, sudden cardiac death. Um, another risk factor for sudden cardiac death in the young are drugs. These can be both legal prescribed medication as well as illegal substances and we have looked into uh, this in our nationwide registries as well as in uh, the toxicology report and what we found overall is that there are more proarrhythmic drugs in the cases with the blank autopsy here turn sudden arrhythmic death syndrome compared to uh, when you have a structural uh, underlying cardiac disease. Quite importantly, as I've alluded to early on, um, the question become is sudden death the same as sudden cardiac death in the young? And I'm going to quote two studies. One is our own where we found that 25% of sudden death are non-cardiac. What could they be? They could be hemorrhage or pulmonary embolism. And this second study, and this is on general population from San Francisco, a three-year study where they looked into cause of death. And what they found quite interestingly and surprisingly, uh, to me at least, and I think to most, is that occult overdose is the leading cause of non-cardiac death. Therefore, uh, sudden death is not always sudden cardiac death. An autopsy, including uh, toxicology, is key in sudden death cases. And uh, I would like to uh, draw your attention to guidelines on how to perform an autopsy. This is especially uh, important in the young that we get the uh, cardiac pathologist to go through each case so we are sure about uh, cause of death or as sure as we can get. This concludes the presentation on sudden cardiac death in the young epidemiology by Guy Hart. Thank you so much.